Cubs and Cub families. I enjoyed seeing all of your wonderful hearts. That was so amazing. Welcome back to our Freestyle Friday. I'm so excited to see you guys all back here. Today we have a really fun project. We are going to be doing another sort of scavenger hunt where we are going to look for objects around our house to create a color wheel. Now, when we are walking around, I have a color wheel here so we can see. And I'll post a picture of our color wheel to our website too, so you can reference it while you're on your scavenger hunt. But what we are going to be looking for are our main colors, our primary and secondary colors. Best idea is to start with our Roy G. Bev. So that would be our red. Move on to your orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So those are the colors I want you guys to try to find around your house. It doesn't have to be exactly that type of color. It could be a little bit of a variation of that color and that's just fine. Now, if you look at the color wheel here, there's a lot of different mixtures of colors here. So we have some tertiary colors in there, but we don't have to, unless we find them, add them to our color wheel. We're just looking for our main colors. Now, I'm gonna go on a scavenger hunt with my bag around my house. Now, one thing about our scavenger hunt today is we need to make sure that we ask permission to use the object. So if it's something in a sibling's room or maybe um, something that belongs to our parents or our guardians or whatnot, we need to make sure we ask permission before we use that for our color wheel. And we also need to put the items back. So Miss Roebuck is going to have a big mess to clean up after we're all done, but that's part of doing art. When we get done with our messes, we clean them right up. So, are you ready? I'm so excited. Let's get started. All right, so I collected all of my objects and now it's time to lay out my color wheel. I'm gonna start by finding an empty surface so that I can lay out all of my objects. Review your color wheel and then pick a color to start your color wheel with. Once you pick a color, then you can build everything out from that one starting point into a circle. Boy, that was fun, Cubs. I hope that you had as much fun as I did creating our found object color wheel. Now, don't forget to have a parent or guardian take a picture of your project and send it in to me over email at megan.roebuck at yourcharlotteschools.net. And don't worry if you didn't get that, I'll have it in the message dialogue for this post. So, happy creating. I hope you guys have a really great Friday, really great weekend, and I will see you next Freestyle Friday. Bye.